right, Liz Ness here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about edgers. Specifically, how to make a scallop like this, how to make dots go along a path, whether it's a circle or a, a, a quick shape that's a square or something like that. And then also how to do shapes that go uh, along the path. So like this, these hearts here that they're point in. So let's go ahead and get started. I have open here a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, which translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And to get started, I have a red color selected. You can choose any color you like. And I'm gonna go down to the calligraphy set that comes with Procreate standard. And I'm gonna select the monoliner. And um, this has moved around for me a little bit. I believe it is down in the, lower in the list for, uh, for when it first arrives <laughs> out of package. So, um, but anyway, it is called monoline. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over just gently to the left and tap duplicate. And then I'm going to go into my duplicate and I'm going to start playing with it. The first thing I'm going to do is go to properties and I'm going to dial up my properties just a little bit. So I'm sorry, my maximum size, just a little bit and my minimum size too, just so I get a little bit bigger dot. That way it's easier to see for the demo too. Then I'm going to go over to stroke path. And these are the only two settings I'm going to play with to uh, get my uh, dotted border here. And I'm going to start playing with spacing, just dialing that up right i don't know somewhere around 66 to sometimes i think somewhere around 75 or so yep that looks pretty good and when i'm satisfied i'm just going to go ahead and tap done and now i'm going to go ahead and draw a circle and hole to invoke the quick shapes to make a nice round order here so just going to start drawing and you know you can dial that up and just go around in a nice circle and then hold and then tap to get a nice circle, just like that. And I'm going to tap out into the workspace and it can use one more dot right in there. So I'm just going to tap it right in there. And if you don't like it, you can undo and tap again until you do like it. And that's how you can get a nice dotted border for something. Okay, let's go ahead and clear that um, layer here. And now let's look at what it would be like to create a scalloped edge for like a circle or something like that. Let's go into the uh, selection tool here and instead of rectangle I'm going to select ellipse and I'm going to have the color fill option selected and so I'm just going to draw kind of a, a circle -ish shape just like that and it will fill for me because I have color fill on and then I'm going to go ahead and deselect that selection tool. I'm going to go back to my monoliner here and I am going to tap it to work on it again and this time I'm going to bring that spacing back down so that they're touching and I'm going to go ahead and really dial up that maximum size here somewhere around looks like about 435 so okay and let's see do I let's go back to the stroke path see if I want to dial that just down now I want yep okay a little further space so somewhere around 55 percent it looks like um, will give me a nice scallop and when I'm satisfied I'm just gonna go ahead and tap done and once again, we're going to invoke those uh, quick shapes. So let's go ahead and go. Whoa, that's too big. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's just dial that down a little bit. Okay, and then we're just going to go around and hold and then tap. And that gives you a nice scalloped edge. So it makes it great for like little flowers and things like that. So, okay. So what about if you have a heart shape? Let's go ahead and clear this layer again and very quickly with our actual monoliner here let's draw like a heart shape here um, and we're going to fill it too okay oops whoop did not mean to invoke smart shape there we go <laughs> all right so now i'm going to go ahead and fill that and i'm going to take my eraser and hold and that'll give me the same brush and i can just erase right there because i don't like that little line sticking off the edge there we go nice little heart okay now I'm going to go ahead and select the transform tool and I'm going to center this vertically and horizontally. Let's see, probably I just need to bring this down. Okay, right there. To find out that I have it centered, I have snapping on, but not magnetics, just snapping and the distance, which is the, the default distance is three and the velocity is max. Okay, so now I have it like this. I'm going to go ahead and go over to my wrench and I'm going to uh, tap add and copy canvas. 
And then I'm going to cover over to a set of brushes that I have available to my uh, email subscribers and they're called the Essential Starters. And I'll leave a link in the description below. And I want this to go along a path so that the hearts, the points are down if I'm drawing a circle. So I'm going to select this uh, brush right here that is called, oh no, I actually want to, sorry, parallel, parallel to the path. If it's along a path, it's like a uh, heart uh, tip to tip. So uh, it'll go differently. I want it to be uh, parallel to the path. So I'm going to select that brush and I'm going to drag it over and duplicate it. And then I'm going to go into that brush and the brush will tell you which uh, which image needs to be replaced, either the shape or the grain. In this case, it's the shape. So we're going to tap Edit, Import, and Paste because we pasted, sorry, because we copied our uh, canvas just a moment ago. So we're pasting in there. And then once we're satisfied, we're going to go ahead and tap Done and Done. And you can see that this goes along the path of the brush. So however I'm drawing, that's what it's going to do. So let's go ahead and tap Done. And let's go test this out. I'm going to go ahead and clear this path. And we're going to draw a circle again. And hold and tap with the finger so it really is a circle. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, with my transform tool and get it centered. There we go. Okay. And that is how you can create, oh, it's really cute actually. <laughs> uh, it's really uh, easy to do uh, these different little border edges, especially when you have the, a, a nice um, brush that you can use as a starter brush. Um, like I said, I highly recommend getting that essential set. It's totally free and it saves me a lot of time when I'm making brushes. But you can also, as we demonstrated, just make a copy of the monoline uh, brush that comes standard with procreate and make some neat little border uh, shapes as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.